everybody welcome back to the seesaw and another grocery haul it is saturday we had a football game today um caleb's team lost his first loss they've had in a while it was 4-1 and that didn't really reflect the game they actually played really well and they dominated the game but they just couldn't convert it into goals and every time the other team made a break they scored a goal so um yeah it was a bit of a tough game for them um but it was a late kickoff, so although I don't like getting up super early on a Saturday and heading off to the football field, it does mean you've got the rest of the day to yourself. Our kickoff wasn't until 11.30 today, um, and so by the time we got finished with the game, it was nearly one o'clock, and get home, get some lunch, get organised. It was half past three before I went out to get the shopping, and so I'm back and just unpacked everything, and it's quarter to six, so um, it's, uh, it just kind of takes up the whole day a little bit um and so yeah it's just a bit i don't like being this late getting everything sorted and put away um because then like my evening's gone then so but anyway enough of my whining <laughs> um i went to audi and sainsbury's today next week my tesco's club card plus will have renewed for the month so i will definitely go and make the most of my 10 percent off for next week which is kind of the pre-christmas shop and then I always do a Christmas Eve shop, always. Um, it's just something I quite enjoy, getting up really early on Christmas Eve, heading to the shops and seeing what bargains I can find. Um, as I've mentioned before, my main Christmas dinner stuff is coming in a hamper I ordered from Muscle Food. That will be delivered on the 20th. Um, so that's got all my meat and vegetables and pigs in blankets and stuffing and all of that stuff. So when I go out on Christmas Eve, I'm really just looking for little extras and things to have for Boxing Day when we tend to have leftovers, um, but a few extra little treats on the table and kind of dessert type things and that sort of thing. So next week will be Tesco's, but this week I went to Aldi and Sainsbury's. I spent 76 at Aldi and another 16 at Sainsbury's, so 92 altogether. Um, that was quite a lot um although i did get quite a bit and i do have half a salmon again this week um but not as much meat as i usually buy um so yeah i i don't know but i did buy a few extra bits again um pre christmasy bits uh that i needed so i don't know i guess it all balances out in the end um, but I will turn you around, I'll show you what I picked up, and then at the end, as always, we'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. So, there is the sweep of everything we picked up. You can see it is very dark, I absolutely need the lights on um, <laughs> in the kitchen today. Um, Non-food items, my normal TV magazine, a small bag of birdseed, as we've got one small bag left and one in use, so... I need another one to get me through the week. Isn't it strange because I do buy birdseed on Amazon subscribe and save, but the last delivery, and I get it every three months because I get the really big bags. And sometimes I have to buy a couple of these just to top up towards the end. But the last delivery, they couldn't get it and I didn't have it. So it's been six months since we had a delivery. Um, so I keep forgetting to add it to the next month's um, delivery because with subscribe and save, you can kind of move it up to the next month. And I keep forgetting to do it when I review my products each month. Um, but now it's due in, in January anyway. So I just need to get through to January and the birds will be back in stock. Um, I picked up two birthday cards. So I thought this was quite a nice one from the year that we've had. And then this one. My aunt is turning 90 this week. And there is a bit of a funny story because last Christmas when we popped by to see her. And we haven't, really, we haven't seen her since because she's 90 and therefore... We haven't visited her through the two major lockdowns and then in between like her family were visiting so we didn't um but when we saw her last christmas um i said to her oh it'll be you know just before christmas next year you'll be turning 90 we'll have a big party our family quite likes big parties and my aunt said i don't want a party she's not a party type of person or not for herself anyway she doesn't like to be the center of attention um and so she said i don't want a party so my joke now is that you know of all the things she could have done to prevent us having to have a 90th birthday party for her um a global pandemic was a bit extreme but <laughs> it's quite funny but we have got some cards that we will drop by to her um through her door this week i got three rolls of wrapping paper while they had plenty um this one more of a kind of an adult um season's greetings a little holly wreaths on it these two are kind of more fun and funky 
and I tend to wrap my presents fun and funky anyway but I'm sure there'll be a couple that I need to wrap that this will be appropriate for but these were 99p and the bigger one I don't know how much that was 149 so that's quite a good deal these have on them six meters and the smaller ones have 12 meters so it's six meters of extra long or 12 meters of the average size so that's quite a lot there I've still got some left from last year I always buy some kind of just after Christmas when they're marked down as well um, I needed a just a regular dish soap we do most things in the dishwasher but there are a few things that we wash by hand so we needed some of that I got the fruity water orange and pineapple and orange juice for Caleb's drinks for this week I got two packages of crumpets I didn't need any bread I've still got some of the seedy bread from last week left and Tony bought a loaf of bread this morning to make sandwiches for lunch so I didn't need any bread but I have got crumpets so that we can have um, crumpets as breakfast and I'll put one pack of those in the freezer. I did get my little apricot and almond pastries. When I go at this time of day they're always these sorts of things are marked down and if they have these ones which are my favourite you see they're half price so I grabbed those. I got some soft white sandwich thins, again something different bread wise for Caleb to have with his lunchbox this week. Some mini chocolate chip muffins, they're good to pop in a lunchbox but also sometimes as a breakfast treat with a yoghurt um, and some juice or something like that. Um, 15 eggs, some of the assorted flavour ridge crisps and some of the bacon wheat crunchies. A pack of mini chocolate chip cookies, there's six little bags in there. Some of the marshmallow Rice Krispie squares and some of the Fibre Now chocolate fudge brownie bars. I got two pots of applesauce. We've got roast pork this week, so I'll need some for that. But I also want some for a recipe that I'm making. Um, some baked beans, two packages of the cookies and cream and one of ginger nuts. I got Caleb some racer bars. He hasn't had those for a while. Got some dry roasted peanuts. I want some in a recipe, but then the rest will be for snacking as it's that time of year. Um, got some sweet corn. I have some tuna in the pantry. I thought Caleb could perhaps have tuna and sweet corn one day this week. Um, some rapeseed oil and some corn flour just to stock up. Um, some of these little white chocolate stars for some Christmassy baking. Um, two pots, two packages of the sweet chili garlic sauce, which is for stir fry. A little pack of grated parmesan. I think I have some in the fridge, but I hadn't checked before I left, so I bought just a little pot, a little bag just in case. Two pot, um, blocks of butter, two more of these little peach and apricot yogurt suckies. Caleb had some of those in his lunchbox this week, so I've got him two more. Um, two apple and blackberry crumbles for my little dessert tree. Apple and blackberry fruit pie wise is my absolute favorite. Well, yeah, apple and blackberry is my favorite, and followed by rhubarb. Um, and so I spotted these, hadn't seen these ones before in our Aldi, so I've got those for me for a treat this week. Some, a pot of double cream, a large milk, didn't need any juice, Caleb has still got half of the, of the um, bottle of orange juice I bought last week. I finally found these, so the mini V&E's that are, um, which are like Viennettas, that are, um, Aldi they've had the vanilla ones and they've had the mint ones but I had not seen the strawberry ones in at all um, and just happened to spot some today they just filled up the freezers so I grabbed some while I could cones for Caleb um, a pack of Chewbit yogurts which is the regular yogurt he has two scotch eggs again for lunchbox treats along with some of this barbecue turkey breast chunks um, some dip it's, um, cheese dip with breadsticks, three pots of those, and some ham. So Caleb will have pet lunch a couple of days this week anyway. Um, and then on Friday, the last day of school, they're supposed to take some party food. Normally, every child in the class would bring some kind of party food and they'd have a big party and all share like buffet style the food. But because of everything going on this year, um, each child has to take their own plate of party food with them. So it's a bit odd. Um, so I just bought a few extra little bits to make up a plate. Oh, and a little quiche, which I will um, warm up. And then Caleb can have some quiche in his lunchbox this week too. I've got two packages of smoked pork sausage. Lots of shortcuts this week. It's going to be a busy week. I've got a lot going on at work. So my menu is based around quick and easy this week. Um, some chunky breaded uh, cod fillets. Some of the little chicken and vegetable pies. Some mixed frozen vegetables and some stir fry vegetables. 
two packages of chips i do mostly make my own chips but again for ease and quickness this week i'm just going to keep those in the freezer if i'm a little bit later getting home i can still do chips quite quickly um turkey breast steaks a pork crackling joint um half a side of salmon and some back bacon fruits and vegetables some red potatoes i did end up going to the farm shop in the village or our fruit and, fruit and veg stall in the village and got a, little, a, sm a small sack of potatoes from him um which i still have some left in and then i got some red potatoes just for something different some parsnips two heads of broccoli um, a little pack of butter and mushrooms some baby spinach uh, curly parsley and dill for the herbs for licky he has some mint and some basil in the fridge that Tony picked up for him this week. He likes to have herbs with, with all of his meals and we sort of just try to mix it up a bit. Um, cucumber, a cauliflower, some baby corn, some mixed peppers, romaine lettuce and little gem lettuce and some carrots. These royal gala apples, they just looked really yummy. The nice bright red apples. Um... I've been having a lot of coxes, which I really like, but these just caught my eye today. And some more of the pink kids' apples, which Caleb likes. He's been having those in his lunchbox. Some lemons and some limes. A pack of mixed grapes. These grapes just looked really good, and they were £2 for a pack in Sainsbury's. Um, I didn't plan to buy grapes, but they just looked really tasty, so I grabbed them. Um, a bag of bananas. Some wonky blueberries, which is, the blueberries is Licky's sweet treat. So they, uh, guinea pigs don't have too much sweet. They can have apple and pear and stuff like that. But the thing he really likes is blueberries. So we just give him one or two um, with his dinner every day. And that's his sweet. He doesn't have anything else sweet apart from the peppers sometimes can be a bit sweet. But um, that's the only sweet thing he really has. And occasionally a piece of apple. Um, and then I've got some strawberries and occasionally again Licky will have a strawberry top as a special treat um, so looking at our meal plan for the week today because the because the day just has all gone pear shaped really <laughs> with the late football start we're going to have pizza Tony is going to order pizza we're going to have takeout um, tomorrow we'll have the roast pork Monday I'm going to use those turkey steaks to make a turkey stir fry and we'll have that with rice it's World War II day at school for Caleb. He's dressing up as a soldier. Um, fish, chips and peas on Tuesday. Pies with vegetables on Wednesday. That's football practice night. So um, something quick and easy for when we get back from there. Salmon with potato wedges and salad on Thursday. And then on Friday, I'll make a smoked sausage stir fry and we'll have that with some rice as well. So that is the meal plan for the week ahead. Quite a simple one this week. Nothing too complicated, nothing too kind of recipe based. It's just putting stuff together when I get home. Um, and sometimes you have to have a week like that, especially at this time of year. So thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and look at our meal plan. And we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.